The Ninth Sunday After Pentecost, Year C, from the Gospel according to Luke. You also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an unexpected hour. In the name of the one who comes in the name of the Lord, even Jesus Christ. Amen. Our readings for this week speak to us of an odd sort of readiness. A readiness where no thief can come near and no moth can destroy. Jesus calls us not to stock up, but to sell our possessions and to give alms to the poor. We're to make ourselves ready while knowing that our readiness lies not here, but in what the letter to the Hebrews calls the conviction of things not seen. Now, folks might think that the sacrifices they bring to Jerusalem and the keeping of the holy days are all a means of amassing treasure in heaven. But God says to them that such things have become a burden. Like the people of Sodom and Gomorrah, they and we have refused to honor and instead try to exploit the poor and the strangers in our midst. The same hands with which we offer the blood of sacrifice are defiled with the blood of the oppressed we have not rescued, the orphan we have not defended, and the widow for whom we have not pled. Therefore we must wash ourselves in the waters of justice, so that when God comes in judgment, like the consuming flame and raging storm of our psalm, he will find us ready to offer a different type of sacrifice. Whoever offers me the sacrifice of thanksgiving honors me, says the Lord. But to those who keep in my way, will I show the salvation of God. Like the matriarchs and patriarchs before us, we are called to set out through foreign territory and to live not in cities of certitude, but in tents of intrepidness. We're called to live as those who do not already have and who therefore are still seeking a homeland. As heirs of the promise made to Abraham, may we who cannot exist without God be by God enabled to live according to God's will. In the name of that same God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.